discussing very very important topic uh, what is the meaning of uh, memory and how many types of memories are there so it means difference between the mem primary memory and secondary memory this answer we are going to discuss so this is very very important topic okay in unit 2 fit so please subscribe my channel learn computer education so in future whatever the videos i'm going to make immediately you will uh, you'll be getting the notification regarding my new videos you know already i, I, I posted so many videos in my fit uh, playlist please uh, make use of those videos like all number conversions what is the meaning of number system and what is binary arithmetic all different concepts i explained already you can make use of those concepts okay so it is very very important topic so now directly i'm going to the concept what is the meaning of primary memory and secondary memory just directly i'm going so first you need to understand what is the meaning of memory so if anyone is asking what is the meaning of memory means you need to say it is a okay it is a storage area storage area where we can store where we can store some data some data so the data may be in the form of images or the may be in the form of uh, audio or it may be in the form of video or it may be in the form of any uh, special effects graphics or images etc okay so you know already in computer memories are two types memories are two types one is primary memory okay primary memory and the next one is secondary memory okay secondary memory so this is very very important topic just focus on this concept now you know the primary memory so why we are saying so why so example so what is the which one is will comes under the primary memory and which one is comes under the so example you know ram and rom ram and rom is a comes under the primary memory and secondary memory hard disk okay ssd okay hard disk ssd pen drive pen drive cd dvd okay etc these are all comes under the secondary memory devices okay so the next concept so understand already you know this is uh, suppose once you see the question uh, that is block diagram computer in block diagram what will be there alu inside the cpu three parts will be there alu mu and cu so listen so suppose my question is here suppose you are having the processor 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 okay you know different types of processor are there intel or amd or anything so it is also called as cpu okay so here assume this is your ram now this is your ram and this is your hard disk assume it so if see because in whatever the work which we are going to do in our computer that has to be done by the processor so in order to do anything so computer uh, processor is required what input so whenever the processor need any information the processor will access that information from ram so see processor need always it needs some instructions so that has to be received from RAM, not from hard disk. So it means processor cannot access any information directly from hard disk. So whatever the data which is required for the processor, immediately it will ask to RAM, to RAM. So it means what? RAM will transfer the data to hard disk, hard disk will transfer the data to processor. That way the work will be done. So whatever the data which we stored in RAM, that will be erased automatically. Once you shut down the computer or once you closed any application, that related, uh, that related data which is stored in RAM that will be erased automatically. Okay, so so oh, this is a internal concept. Okay, so which memory is costlier here? RAM is costlier. RAM is costlier because okay, RAM is costlier. Costlier. So what about the hard disk? Uh, it is cheaper. Okay, hard disk is cheaper. So why? Because you see example, you take your mobile phone example only, your mobile phone you are having 2GB or 4GB RAM, but uh, external st uh, storage will be, internal storage will be more. So always RAM is costlier than hard disk. Okay. Next, uh, next, which memory is faster? RAM is faster. Okay. RAM is faster and hard disk is slower. Come in, come. Okay. Slower. So these are the things you need to remember while you are writing the answer. So memory will be faster, uh, cost, uh, it, it is costlier and it is cheaper and it is, it is faster and it is slower. 
so what are the data which is drawn so these memories are having so many names are there so many names are there so the primary memory another name for the primary memory so here i'm writing you can also say primary memory primary memory also you can say or it is also having the another name is called temporary temporary memory or it is also called as volatile volatile so what is the meaning of volatile you know okay what is the meaning of volatile what are the data which we stored automatically to erased when we switch off the computer it is also called as main memory okay main main memory okay similarly when you go to the secondary memory secondary memory is also called as what permanent memory okay permanent memory and it is also called as non volatile non volatile memory volatile memory it is also called as auxiliary memory so please do, remember these all names auxiliary memory it is also called as external memory also you can say external external memory so these are very very important points you need to remember about this topic okay so cpu always you know already cpu always will access any data from what ram not from hard disk so these are very very important concept please subscribe my channel anu computer education so in future whatever the videos i'm going to make immediately will be getting the notification so whatever the concept i explained that related notes i have given down just scroll down and you can come to know the answer just this is what uh, difference between the primary and secondary memory point so you can take the screenshot of this uh, answer and you can write it in your final exam so after this can make use of these points these are very very important questions in fit so thank you please subscribe my channel anu computer education